Hey everyone, welcome to today's News Minute here on Ocala.com. Today is Tuesday, the 27th day of October. I'm Kamal Hostin. Let's get right into it. First up, eight American troops were killed in two separate bomb attacks Tuesday in southern Afghanistan, making October the deadliest month of the war for U.S. forces since the 2001 invasion to oust the Taliban. Moving on. State television Tuesday said that Iran will agree to general framework of a UN nuclear plan, but will seek important changes. The West hopes the deal will ease tensions with Tehran. A lawmaker who prompted a mistrial in the John Travolta extortion case apologized today. The lawmaker and one of the defendants share a political party in the Bahamas. In local news, an ammunition maker and retired gun shop owner who has more than 400 guns in his home reported a theft of a dozen of those guns. More details on that story for you here on Ocala.com. Moving on. Deborah Lefebvre, the teacher convicted of having sex with her 14-year-old student, has filed a court motion asking for supervised contact with the children of her friends and family. Now, don't forget, American Idol finalist from last year, Jason Castro, will be at the Paddock Mall at 6 p.m. today near Belk. And if you can't make it out there, Ocala.com will have photos and video of that event later on this evening. Now, you can keep up with Ocala.com via Facebook and Twitter. We update those throughout the day. That's it for today's News Minute. I'm Kamal Hostin, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.